Welcome to the Sant Mat Satsang Podcast. Today a program titled Simran is the first step in Sant Mat. Simran is the name of a spiritual practice that is the absolute foundation of living a spiritual way of life here in this human form on planet Earth. Simran is indeed the first rung of the spiritual ladder. Simran is the first step in Sant Mat spirituality. Some definitions of the word Simran. Simran means remembrance, as in remembering God by repeating his name or names, practicing the presence of God. Simran refers to the spiritual or internal repetition of a sacred name or sacred names of God at the third eye center for the purpose of going within. Concentrating at the eye center and exploring the kingdom of the heavens that are within. Simran is the first step of meditation, but it is also something done throughout the day as often as possible. Sant Mat initiates will take Simran breaks every now and then or when they can during opportune moments throughout the day. And sooner or later, when we do Simran, when we repeat the sacred names, the Guru Mantra, as often as we can throughout the day and evening, we find that after a while the Simran repeats itself. We may discover that the sacred names are just going on constantly in the background, in the back of our mind. The Simran can become automatic. By the repetition of a sacred name or sacred names, this technique spiritualizes daily life, attenuates the negative influences of others, the negative thoughts, the negative words, the negative energy of others. We choose the energy of the positive power and focus on that, taking command of that influence process. This is from the glossary of the discourses of Baba Ram Singh, the entry for Simran. Simran, remembrance. Simran, remembrance. The repetition of names or thoughts. In Sant Mat, the Simran of worldly thoughts is controlled through the Simran of the five charged names, repeated by an initiate throughout the day and when sitting for meditation as a means of collecting the thought currents at the third eye center. Also used as a password to the higher planes. And Simran is also a means of protection from negative power influences. From the glossary of the discourses of Baba Ram Singh. Simran is the prayer of the name. When we repeat God's name and make it into a prayer, the prayer of the name, the answer to that prayer is God himself. The following is from an article called Manas Jap, Mantra, Simran, the spiritual practice of mentally repeating names of God by Swami Sant Seviji Maharaj. The term manas jap literally means mental chant or mental repetition. Manas jap. Because in Sant Mat, for the most part, we do Simran practice mentally in our minds with the tongue of thought, as they say. There are examples of verbally singing or chanting names of God as well. But for the most part, Simran is done within one's mind within the privacy of one's thoughts is a mental repetition of the guru mantra the name or names imparted to new initiates at the time of their initiation by a living master that's 
where the names come from. When the names are revealed, we receive the gift of the Guru Mantra. We are instructed about the repetition of a name of God or names of God at the time of our initiation into Sant Mat meditation, into spiritual practice. That's when we learn the names. Now, as to what names might be used, whether it's one set of five names, Indian names, or another set of five names that come from the Sufi world and Persian language, or a different set of five names, another set, or one name, the mantra varies. The names that are used vary from Sant Mat Guru lineage to lineage. But the principle is universally the same. Simran is absolutely essential, not only to begin one's meditation practice, but is a spiritual technique done as often as possible throughout the day to center, to recenter, to focus, and to live a spiritual life, to change one's energy, to refocus, to practice the presence of God. Manas Jap, Mantra Simran, the spiritual practice of mentally repeating names of God by Swami Sant Seviji Maharaj. The first of these practices of Sant Mat meditation, Manas Jap, is the repetition of a divine name, preferably the mantra given to the disciple by the teacher. This mantra is considered to be both sacred and vibrant with divine energy. It purifies the heart of the practitioner. Goswami Tulsi Das Ji emphasized the potency of Mana's Jap practice, Simran, the repetition of a name or names of God, saying, quote, The mantra that is small has such a great power that even Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva and other gods come under the control of the practitioner. The short mantra is a device to control the mind, which is like a mad elephant." Unquote. Swami Sant Seviji, it is necessary to have a focused mind at the time of reciting the mantra. If the mind is not focused, then manas jap does not yield benefit. The practitioner must pay close attention and not let the mind wander off to various thoughts during manas job. The constant arising of thoughts obstructs the mind from achieving the powers of the mantra. However, it is important to not become discouraged or impatient while trying to focus. Be diligent in this practice. Success in concentration is bound to come. Swami Sant Seviji Maharaj. This is from the discourses of Baba Ram Singh Ji on the subject of Simran and is titled, Simran is the First Step in Sant Mat. You should do Simran as much as possible while you are walking, while you are eating, and while going about your other work. And with this, you will get the grace of the Master. Because when we do Simran like this, and then when we sit for meditation, it is the Simran which we have done the whole day long that helps us at the time of meditation. If we are not doing Simran, then our mind is scattered and all the other things then affect our meditations. So we should spend as much time as possible and maximize our Simran. We should focus our attention towards Simran. Simran is the first step in Sant Mat, and it is only with Simran that we leave the nine doors of the body below and come to the tenth. Baba Ram Singh from a satsang discourse, Simran is the first step in Santmat.
Paul Singh said, Simran done with faith produces a unique feeling in the heart. By doing Simran, a feeling of bliss and divine influence fills the heart. This state is produced sooner or later, according to the individual devotees, samskaras. A word about samskaras. Samskaras, predominating nature the result of past karmic impressions. That's the definition of samskaras. Simran done with faith produces a unique feeling in the heart. By doing Simran, a feeling of bliss and divine influence fills the heart. The state is produced sooner or later, according to the individual devotees, samskaras. This is from one of my articles and is titled Practicing the Presence Through the Prayer of the Name. It says in the Bhagavad Gita, After many births, the wise seek refuge in me, seeing me everywhere and in everything. This is from Sant Dadu Dayal. Repeat the name of your beloved day and night, again and again and again. With care and thought, word and deed, you will cross to the other shore. If one reads or sings the bhajans of the saints, the saints of India, the masters and mystics of the East, one will be reminded every day to repeat God's name. Most every school of mystics in the past, actually, both East and West, has practiced some form of the prayer of the name, including Essenes, Kabbalah, Gnostics, Mount Athos or Eastern Orthodoxy, Sufism, and of course the Sants of India. Simran is the art of repeating a name or names of God for the purpose of remembering the divine, practicing the presence of God. It is a way to remain spiritually awake in a world of slumber, a way to remain centered instead of being thrown off-center by the influence of maya, illusion, the negative power, called Naringen. In the path of the saints and mystics, this spiritual practice of repeating or chanting names of God is done not only in meditation practice, but as often as possible throughout the day as a way to spiritualize all aspects of life, inner and outer. This is a spiritual exercise, Simran, Mantra, Zikr, that is practiced on the inner when we go within during meditation practice. Sant Nam Dev and other masters have taught how important it is to develop the spiritual practice of repeating God's name or names. This can be done during meditation as a way to relax, get centered, still the thoughts of the mind, and above all, above all, to invoke the positive power to transform one's meditation through divine grace into the experience of God. In order to still one's thoughts, it is often necessary to retain a sacred word to focus upon. The author of a manual of Christian mysticism known as the Cloud of Unknowing suggested the use of a mantra, saying, quote, If you want to gather all your desire into one simple word that the mind can easily retain, choose a short word rather than a long one. A, a, a one-syllable word such as God or love. It says in the cloud of unknowing, why does this little prayer of one syllable such as God or love pierce the heavens? Surely because it is offered with a full spirit in the height and the depth, in the length and the breadth of the spirit of the one who prays. Unquote. 
from the great spiritual classic, The Cloud of Unknowing. The answer to the prayer of God's name is God himself, herself itself, the ocean of love and all consciousness. Each soul is a drop from that divine ocean, and we merge into that ocean of love. That is the homecoming. That is the goal of the spiritual practice. This is from Sant Kripal Singh. When doing spiritual practices, you should sit in one unflinching pose and do mental simran only, with your inner gaze fixed. Think of nothing else except simran. Sit in a position most comfortable to you, one in which you can sit the longest without moving. That while sitting in this position, you are to remain wide awake with your attention directed at the seat of the soul behind and between the two eyebrows, a.k.a. the third eye center, that you are to look sweetly and serenely into the middle of the darkness in front of you, repeating the Simran of the charged names slowly and at intervals. At the time of hearing the sound current, Listen to the sound current only, and do not do the Simran while hearing the sound, unquote, Sant Kripal Singh. Describing a bit about Sant Mat spiritual practice, we mentally sit for meditation, gazing into the darkness at the third eye center, waiting for the manifestation of the inner vision, the inner light, the inner lights, or tunnel of light, and when the sound comes after the light, we can discontinue the Simran mental repetition of the sacred name or five names, whatever your guru mantra is. You discontinue Simran practice only when you reach the inner sound and it takes over as a higher form of name above all names. The sound current. The sound of God. More on Simran practice from Sant Kripal Singh. This is from a little booklet that appeared online a few years ago. I can send a link to you if you send me an email, james at spiritualawakeningradio.com. I'll be happy to send this to you. The Simran booklet. Sant Kripal Singh, Simran is the first step of the spiritual ladder. Muslims call it zikr, that is, to remember someone. Simran confers all the benefits of the eight aspects of yoga. Simran is an essential part of yoga. There is a reference to it in the Bhagavad Gita. It is the highest form of spiritual practice, Kripal Singh, Gurumat Siddhat, philosophy of the masters. Simran, remembrance or repetition. Simran gives pleasure and removes pain. By doing the Simran of the Lord, one merges in Him. Remembrance of God is the main thing before us, to find the way to Him. So there are two uses of Simran. One use is to withdraw from the body by Simran of the electrified words given by a competent master. And the second is to drive out the world and its thoughts from within us by constant remembrance of God. The following quotes by Sant Kripal Singh address the second of these uses to drive out the world and its thoughts from within us by the constant remembrance of the Lord. Kripal Singh, No one is free from repetition or remembrance of some kind. It is through this process that the worldly objects enter into every pore of our body, mind, and intellect, and man is virtually dyed in the color of the world. It is because of this that the soul has to be born again and again. As we think, so we become. 
If we give up remembrance of the world and instead think of the Lord, we can easily gain the means of salvation. The Simran of the objects of the world should be replaced by the Simran of God, the thoughts of the world by contemplation of the Master. This is imprinted on our subconscious mind, the impression of God in the form of the Satguru. Simran is the first step of the spiritual ladder, first rung of the spiritual ladder, Kripal Singh is saying here. Sant Kripal Singh, these names are also energy charged and help the transference of spiritual energy to the disciple. The names are revealed to us by a true master. Carry his power and this comes to the aid of the disciple enabling him to transcend both death and the negative power. Each name carries its own influence. By Simran of holy names, we get rid of the thoughts of the world. One feels the presence of God. Simran bestows happiness, peace, and bliss, and leads us to a state of superconsciousness. Simran should not be done in haste. It should be done slowly and with love and devotion, the names being repeated clearly and correctly. The results of repetition will be in direct proportion to the love and faith brought to bear upon it. His names, God's names have a great power. When done with faith, one feels intoxicated with joy with the result that he forgets his body and himself and is aware of the presence of the Lord. Whosoever repeats the Lord's name with each morsel gains the merit of a fast says Sant Tukarama. Glory be to him, the center of all pilgrimage and holy deeds, who repeats the Lord's name while engaged in worldly duties, remains ever in a blissful state of divine communion. Who remembers the Lord while treading life's path obtains each step, the fruit of holy offerings, while indulging in pleasures or spurning them, who repeats the name of the Lord is not stained by actions thus performed. Know then, one absorbed in the Lord's name, O Tuka, has truly attained liberation while living. This is from Sant Dadu Dayal of Rajasthan. If the mind stays with the name of the Supreme Lord, even for a moment, O Dadu, all its karmas will be destroyed then and there, within the twinkling of an eye. And this is from Guru Kabir, and thank you for joining me today for the Sant Mat Satsang podcast titled, Simran is the First Step in Sant Mat. Guru Kabir taking us out and concluding today's satsang. You should also carry out God's Simran in such a way as to merge in Him and to become Him. One who by merging in the light of the Lord has become that light, no longer remaining a mere human being. Whomsoever we contemplate, Him we become. <laughs> 